there guys and girls, this is Pixel and today we have a super duper exciting video because we are opening 101 Vindicator crates. I'm finally doing it. I did a 51 Vindicator crate opening at the start of the update. I did another 50 Vindicator crate opening. I now have 101 and obviously we had the Black Creepers in a video. It was insane. We had the White Neoyos in the same video. We had the White Ninja Stars in that video, but we are yet to get a Black Market. Whether it be a Shattered or an Intrudium, that would kind of suck, but we could get a Glory fire or a neuro agitator or a painted neuro agitator and obviously this is kind of tying in it's not only a new crate video it is but it's also kind of like a continuation of the rocket league crate bucket list series because obviously i recorded a crate bucket list episode before this crate was announced and the title was after three years i finally completed crates and then they introduce a new crate so i have no longer completed crates so i have about two months to get the glorifier and the neuro agitator because i've got the exotics in this crate that i like as far as the crate bucket list goes perhaps a painted sentinel should be on that list maybe a white one if i'm lucky with trade-ups and that sort of thing but the main thing now are these two black markets so realistically i should have to open about 400 to get both of these i ideally in an ideal world so we're gonna sit back relax and open these 100 crates feel free right now to pause the video or keep it rolling go get some water or some food some snacks whatever you feel like i'm gonna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this channel logo.com because without them videos like this would not be possible obviously it's quite costly to make videos like this and i love bringing you guys this content because i know it's not normal for a person to just be able to open 100 crates like i take that for granted very much and it's because of you guys and because of logo and your support on logo.com that i'm able to make these videos so head over there use code pixel for six percent off your purchase i'm going to play the sponsored intro leave a like on the video if you're excited go grab your snacks sit back relax and we're going to get in and open these 100 crates just have a little chat and have a good time and we're going to get our first vindicator black market today Bold claim, but I'm confident. <laughs> you guys need to go and check out the sponsors of this video, Logger.com. They sell gift cards for cheaper than they actually are. If you use my discount code Pixel at checkout for 6% off, say you want a $50 gift card, go to the checkout, use my code, and you can get it for cheaper than $50. If you want to buy V-Bucks on Fortnite, keys on Rocket League, or much more, then you can go and do that using the link in the description. Logger is not affiliated with any game that I'm playing or showing on the channel, but they're really supporting me, and I hope you go show them some love. So... With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. So if the upload schedule has gone to plan, I will have finally uploaded all of the videos that I made in the apartment a couple of weeks ago because I made the Car Wars video, for instance, a few weeks ago and I finally should have uploaded it a couple of days ago because I had to rejig my pre-recorded videos. Wait a minute. Yo! Painted Neoyos! <laughs> That's mad. I had to rejig Cobalt Neoyos. I like that. Yeah, I had to change up my upload schedule to, to make way for the Vindicator crate openings, which is also why I haven't just been uploading daily Vindicator crate openings. One, I don't want it to get stale. I want them to be an exciting upload. So a couple, two or three days between each one. But also, I have to make way for the videos that I already made because it's only so long you can wait before a video becomes kind of outdated. And obviously, the Car Wars video, I really like that video. It's a really good video. It's highly edited. It's got the green screen, which I do kind of like. I do like that aspect of the videos that I had. And um, obviously, I've got to get that Car Wars out so I can, for the next Car Wars episode, finally use the Sentinel because I'm yet to use this car in a video. So this should be going out if I've planned it well, if everything has gone correctly. They're painted picket wheels. I'll take that. This should be going out on the 11th of October, and it's currently the 7th of October as I'm recording it. I'm getting all kinds of stuff done. You know, it's uh, it, it's a lot of work, but I'm excited. I also want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to all of you for the support on the channel lately because... It's been a rough few weeks, as you guys know, and the support has been unreal on the videos. Like, views aren't everything, they're definitely not, but to see more people enjoy my videos, like to get a little notification from YouTube saying, great job, your video is taking off, primarily due to higher interest from subscribers, which is you guys. Oh, okay, we like that. And, and that genuinely just means a lot to me. The watch time is up, the comments are up, the likes are up, so please smash a like on the video if you're, if you're excited. There's a painted sentinel, so that's my first one of those, so I could... Tick that off the bucket list, although technically, really, I'm going for the white one as far as bucket list goes. So we'll continue. But it, it really, really does mean a lot. The support on Instagram, Twitter. I did take like a, a week break, really, from Instagram and Twitter. Like I took them off my phone and now I have, I'm in a better headspace to have them on my phone. Come on, baby. Creepers, probably. It's going to be a Neo-Yo. All right. Two Neo-Yos. Um, good exotic luck so far. Just hopefully that transpires to good black market luck later on in the video. Uh, so they're back on my phone now. I'm I'm in good spirits. Obviously, things have been very rough for me lately. Um, but 
everything happens for a reason. Cliche, as cliche as that sounds, but uh, it's it's good that I'm in the situation that I'm in. It's good that my relationship is over because it, it wasn't good for me. It wasn't a good relationship for me. I'm not going to go into any details. If you're close to me, you know what happened. I don't need to go any further. But also, I've taken this time to sort of get my life back on track. Obviously, I'm single. I have a lot of time in the day. I've been able to really get back into my fitness over the last couple of weeks. And I, I think in the last month, since the start of September, uh, I've lost about 20 to 25 pounds. I'm still a bit of a thick boy. <laughs> um, but at my heaviest, I'll do a conversion for both of you. Look, for I say both of you, American, English, whatever system you use. Uh, I was 15 stone 13, so very close to 16 stone, or 223 pounds. In fact, I think I did step on the scale at 224 pounds and then stepped off before it could, like, register because there's there's a, um, a reading in my phone of 224 pounds but no sort of information on that, like, body fat and that because I must have seen 224 and just stepped off out of, like, rage. So 16 stone, 224 pounds. This morning, after a workout, I weighed in at 198 pounds, 14 stone, 2, which is absolutely phenomenal, by the way. That's mad. I haven't been under 14 stone for about a year, I want to say. We've got some special edition wheels, so that's not too bad. We'll keep going. But yeah, when the new year came around, January 1st, I was 15 stone 1. So uh, 211 pounds. And then I kind of went up and down throughout the year. I lost a little bit here and there, but I just never got into the swing of things. But now that I'm single, honestly, and I've got more time, I literally, there's no excuses. And I'm very, very committed to sort of just feeling good about myself and being fit and being healthy again, because I, I've done it before. I know I can do it. And I just need to this time, when I get to the stage where I'm fit and I'm happy, I just can't stop there. I can't just think, well... I've succeeded. I look good. I can't just post a few pictures on the PXL Fitness Instagram and think that I'm not going to go back to the way I used to be when I was overweight if I start eating 5,000 calories a day of just pure garbage. So I'm in a good headspace and to, to by this point already be under 200 pounds and nearly 14 stone is actually I'm very proud of myself because I haven't been overworking like a mad amount. Like, I've been doing manageable amounts of exercise, a lot of walking, some running, and I've been eating well. So, I'm I'm happy. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really, really good. So, yeah, I don't know where... I, I feel like I was going somewhere with that, but other than... Even, even if I'm not, it's all, it's all well and good. I'm in a happy place, and that is great. And it, it really is reflecting in my content, I feel like, because I get a lot of comments saying... A lot of comments saying this guy's awesome for, you know, uploading daily despite everything. And I love working. I love making videos. And like today, for instance, I thought to myself, a lot of people, they get up in the morning and they dread going to work. And I really don't. I, I woke up this morning and thought, right, I'm going to get my workout done so I can feel good about myself. But then as a reward for getting my workout done, I get to go to work which is what I'm doing right now. You know, I've made a thumbnail today. I've done some video metadata, that sort of thing. I replied to a few emails and now I'm out here recording. I'm going to edit this video. I have so much more time on my hands because I don't have to answer to anyone. I'm my own human being and it's just, it's fantastic. And the support on the videos has been phenomenal. It's been phenomenal. And that's why I'm, ve I, I, I'm definitely going to be uploading daily. And I'm happy to say that I'm going to keep uploading. And I love it. I love it so much. It's just awesome. It just really is, and I'm in high spirits. I really am, because you've got to look forward to the future, to the positives, but at the same time, enjoy the present and enjoy where you're at. Obviously, I'm not where I want to be in terms of fitness. I'm still a bit, uh, still a little bit soft and still certainly very thick, as I said. Um, but I, I love that I could, I've seen my family most days, like, recently. It's really good, and I love that I've been talking to my friends, seeing my friends. And I'm still making videos, still enjoying it, and I'm having a great time. So that is the situation with me. In regards to streaming, because I'm at my parents, I don't have my old business internet that's, okay, painted truncheon, it's pretty cool, that was really good where I could stream and play games. I can't do that. But I think I would be able to stream... Is that a painted certified white ninja star? It... White sniper! Decent stuff and we got the gray truncheons. Okay. So yeah, I think if it if it was a stream that didn't require internet in it Like it didn't require gameplay. I think I'd be able to stream on YouTube again. So that means over the next couple of months I could stream Crate openings maybe or the the crate bucket list series I could do streams like that because the only internet required would be to actually 
stream it onto YouTube. I don't need it for like gameplay or anything like that. So it could be like the old days when I used to stream five days a week. I couldn't play games in those streams really. But I could do crate openings and trading. So maybe I could do that again. And I, I'd, I'd love to try that one day. Obviously at the moment I'm still working on uploads and stuff like that. I've been very busy. I'm very happy with how things are going. But the future is bright. And also... I know the public subscriber count sucks and you guys don't see any growth on the channel. Um, but obviously, we've gone up about 900 subscribers since it showed us going up on Social Blade last. So in the next couple of days, perhaps by the time... In fact, you know, I'm going to be ballsy. By the time this video is uploaded, we will have gone up another 1,000 to 354,000 subscribers. There's, there are new people coming to the channel. There's new people watching the videos. And it means a lot to me. So we're halfway through. And uh, what do we have to say for ourselves? We have a, a painted Neoyo off the bat. Uh, but other than that, I'm not entirely sure. Do I do best items only or do I just sit back and relax? We've got another special edition picket wheel. I think at the end of this video, because I haven't done a, a mad amount of, of crate openings for the Vindicator series, I probably will also... Back to back special edition, okay. I probably will also do trade ups because I could get a white sentinel, for instance. I could get another black creeper like imagine that because if you didn't watch my video with xyz trading a few days ago we discussed particularly the black creeper because he got himself a pair speaking of which oh my <laughs> oh my gosh for a second i thought we got them again um he got himself a pair i obviously got myself i was the first person on pc that's known to have got one because it was within an hour of the crate coming out i got them which is just ridiculous um we were speaking about the potential increase for the price of that wheel. We were speaking about the blueprint update and everything we think is going to happen. The possibility of a supporter creator code system in the item shop because Epic Games are involved and they have a bunch of supporter creator programs, not just for Fortnite. I constantly get emails saying, this game we've got on the Epic Games launcher now has supporter creator. I think Borderlands 3, you could purchase that using a supporter creator code. And I haven't preached my code that much and that's because I only really use it in Fortnite. And I don't really make Fortnite videos, so it doesn't make sense. My code is Pixel Army right now, by the way. Uh, I don't know if the if it's, like, case sensitive, but if it is, it's capital P, capital A, Pixel Army, one word, no spaces. Um, so if Rocket League did a support creator code in a Rocket League item shop, of course I'd promote that because it makes so much sense. It's so apt. That's pretty cool. For my videos, so I'd be like, you know, use code Pixel on Loga, the sponsors, and use code Pixel Army in the item shop. And I think that would really, that would be really, really awesome. It honestly would. So... I'm very excited with the new Blueprint update, and although you can't essentially, once Blueprints have been out for a while, you can't really do a, a Blueprint opening, but certainly on the day of the update, I, I bought a thousand crates off Logger.com for $60, 500 players choice, 200 velocity, 200 totally awesome, and 100 nitro. So when the day of the update comes, I can do a, almost like a, a thousand crate opening without opening the crates. I can reveal what my 1,000 blueprints or 1,000 crates have turned into and what blueprints I've got. And I can show you the black market blueprints. I can show you the painted exotic blueprints. And that would be a great video. And then if, if it's really good, I can use the new Rocket League credits to create just these autumn, awesome items alone. Because obviously the crates you heard I got, they're pretty good crates. You know, totally awesome. You can get some good black markets in there. Player's choice, you've got black markets and some good exotics in there. Velocity. We could get a Dueling Dragons blueprint. That would just be hilarious. And the Nitro, you've got a couple of good black markets in the Draco. So you could get some really sick blueprints when that update comes out. So I'm very excited for like a, almost like a blueprint reveal video come uh, December. Another thing, speaking of December, is RLCS Season 8. I wanted to go because obviously it's in Madrid. It's in Spain. It's, it's feasible that I could go much more so than when the championships have been held in America. However, I don't, I was sat on the fence about going because I don't really have any friends to go with like I did for RLCS in London. However, the problem is, whilst it will be cast on Twitch and YouTube in English, at the venue, and I guess you could say understandably so to an extent, it's going to be cast in Spanish. And obviously, if I had all of my mates going with me and we were having a good time, it wouldn't matter that we couldn't understand what was being said. We could enjoy the gameplay. We could enjoy each other's company. But if I'm going by myself, yes, I could meet people there and I could make new friends and, and go in that sense. But as far as a deal breaker goes, I'm almost tempted to, I guess, maybe not go... Because if I'm there with none of my friends and it's in Spanish, I'm almost better off watching it in English at home when I want. So I, I'm really torn in that one. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to RLCS Season 8 because obviously it probably won't be in Europe for a while after. Maybe the next one in Europe will be in like the Netherlands or something. And I doubt that will be in Dutch because the Dutch tend to speak English fairly well. So that probably will be in English. But here's another exotic. Another creeper. 
And man, we've got 20 crates left, and I don't know if we're going to get a black market. If we don't, though, that's 200 Vindicates without a, without a black market. But as I'm saying, this is still this is the first 100 crate opening, so it's still quite cool what we get. So I'm fine with that. But then it means in the future, throughout October, we will definitely be getting black markets, and we will work towards the crate bucket list. I just pray. If we get a black market today, Psionics, if you hear me, please give me a black market. This house has been great for luck recently. Please, may it continue. Just don't give me an Intrudium, because I could easily see a black market glow. The car comes up, so I'm thinking, oh, it could be a... Uh, could be a glorifier because it's not gone to the gold explosion section for a shattered or a neuro agitator and i see an intrudium it's not only uh, an old decal it's also a bad one so i'm not feeling that but we definitely need a reset on the luck so i'm gonna reset the camera and for these final 17 crates hopefully hopefully we can get a black market and i tell you what i've crushed it this video i haven't really stopped talking at all but i haven't waffled essentially i've always been talking about something i've had a lot to talk about that's what 100 crate opening is always good for and recently it's been shown to me how much you guys support me and care about me just as a person in general so i'm sure there'll be at least a few thousand of you that watch this whole thing through with me you'll leave your comments below leave at the end of your comment if you watch this far or ace is kind of a, a rubbish thing to comment let me get another crate and whatever we get in this comment add that to the end of your comment so i know you look this far watch us get the same decal okay add <laughs> add clod hopper at the end of your comment and i'll know that you watch this far and you watch with me because we didn't need best items only today partly because we haven't had anything that sick to be honest we've had a a good amount of exotics the amount you'd expect at least just no black market to go with that. We still have trade-ups to do, of course, which might be a saving grace for this video as far as luck goes. Because currently, we've opened almost 200 Vindicator crates and had no black market, which is definitely against the odds. It's very strange, and the house is kind of letting me down. This was my haven for good luck. We got a white octane here already. Are they, what color are they? Burnt Sienna, of course they are. Yeah, we've had a white octane here. We've had other sick stuff here. Black markets, everything. But as soon as the Vindicator crate comes out and I've completed crates, Rocket League wants to fist me. So are we going to get a black market in these last eight crates? I'm still going to say yes because I have a lot of faith. Uh, but it's not looking good for us, that's for sure. We've got regular picket wheels. We're going to trade up all of those because now the crate's been out for a few days. A lot of the special editions, the... I have faith. Yes! Oh my gosh, I have faith! You've got to have faith! Hoo, hoo. Oh yes, there we go! Oh my gosh, imagine saying with eight crates left that I have faith that I'm going to get a black market. Psyonix, once again, you have delivered. Ask and you shall receive. We got the glorifier. We're going to equip that now. All we need, maybe a white sentinel from a trade-up perhaps. You know what I'm saying? But now we've got the shatter. We've got the intrudium. I, I was fully expecting an intrudium to come up there. All we need is the neuro agitator. It always seems to be a black market goal explosion I'm after. But we have got it. Within 200 crates, we got the glorifier. So absolutely buzzing with that. It's really... Really been the cherry on top. Four exotics, one black market. That's the exact drop rate you expect in a crate opening of 100 crates. But it was one of the two that we wanted because, yeah, as soon as the car came up, it didn't go to the gold explosion. I was like, it's an intrudium. It's an intrudium. We're getting an intrudium. We got the glorifier. I have no idea on price of this thing because why would I look when I don't have it? But I have it now. Maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll give it away in a series. You don't know. But we got it absolute blind faith in the process of psionics and epic games and they hooked us up with a black market oh my days that's absolutely phenomenal i love it i love it now all we need is the neuro agitator can we get a glorious final crate to complete the game no we can't but it's fine because one is enough one is one of the two that we're looking for is definitely enough for a video so now it is time uh, most recent, there we go, glorifier, let's go, uh, let's go to rares and, uh, trade up all these bad boys, this is gonna take a while, but we're gonna trade all of them up, I, I really, I don't care, this could take a while, I think I'm gonna cut to when we trade up the very rares, because the rares kinda suck, we're gonna get a mad amount of trade ups here, and the best part is, we got the black market in the crate, the glorifier, right there, how nice of it to be right there for me while I'm talking about it, so now, we're looking for some painter creepers, I guess, oh, they're white, yeah, buddy. They are white. <laughs> are they black this time? It, yeah. Burnt sienna. Yes, I am colorblind. Don't need to ask me in the comments. I had someone say, I've seen this guy make mistakes multiple times. He must have something wrong with his eyes. Very astute observation of you there, young man. Uh, you are correct. <laughs> oh, gosh. I still have to tell people that. I've been saying I'm colorblind for years, but I guess it will just never end. 
That's kind of cool. I love that. They look really good, to be fair, the picket wheels. The way the holographic spokes go over the tread. I like it. Here we go, ladies and gents. We are back now. Any of one of these trade-ups could give us a painted sentinel. There's a regular sentinel paragon. Let's get uh, apparatus wheels. Ninja star certified. Don't mind that. We're going to blast through these. I'm absolutely buzzing. You can all go. To be honest, the painted stuff can literally, like I said, all go. I don't care. We've got so many special edition picket wheels. We're doing special edition only. Ninja star sky blue. That probably looks really, really cool. I'm not going to lie. Let's trade up you, you. I genuinely don't care. Let's get rid of them all. Another. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out because that is a black ninja star. And that could be that could be really, really good looking. Not bad. Not as black almost as I thought it could be, but still decent. Uh, let's go most recent and um, trade up some more stuff. And then we'll get into the import to exotic trade ups. Painted certified special edition sky blue. That could have been white. That could have been the one. We don't need to have a look at that. I'll save those for another trade up. Two more picket wheels. Bam! Apparatus. This one is going to be the painted sentinel. Man, we're getting a lot of ninja stars, aren't we? You can go because I don't like you. <laughs> let's keep going. Yo! Let's go! It's off the bucket list! It's a trade up, but I don't care. I got a white sentinel. Holy! Oh my gosh, imagine the first painted sentinel we get in the trade up is actually the white one. The luck is phenomenal. We had th this crate had five things for me on the crate bucket list white neo yos, because they're the best neo yo, white sentinel, black creepers, glorifier, and neuro agitator. We've got the glorifier. The white Neo is the black creepers and the white sentinel. All we need is the neuro agitator. And I've completed crates again. <laughs> Let's go trade ups, baby. That is, oh my goodness. And I can use, obviously, because I like to use the white painted variant for the Car Wars series. I now have the white sentinel earned by myself for the, <laughs> for the Car Wars series. That's absolutely phenomenal stuff. So let's trade up the truncheons. Now, what are we getting rid of? Let's get rid of the orange holographic uh, goalkeeper. Yeah, there we go. Last one. Holy moly. And now we're finishing it off with some import to exotic trade-ups. Maybe we could get a white creeper. I've seen them. They're not as good as the black creepers, in my opinion. But maybe we could get something sick. Painted burnt. So, yeah, no, that is kind of gross. Uh, but I can have a look at those in a minute. <laughs> this is phenomenal. Sentinel-only trade-up. Ah. Uh I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait before I, you know, jump the gun on that one. Um, because maybe it's not perhaps necessary. Let's keep going. Sky blue Neo-Yos. <laughs> back to back paint. Look at the most recent. White Sentinel and then two painted exotics. My guys. Black. They look kind of good. White. Okay. We're probably going to have to trade. Sky blue, black. I didn't care for those that much. Purple, you can go. Uh, orange, I'll keep you. Tactician. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll do the Sentinel only trade. We can do it. Ooh, creepers. Okay, Sentinel only, and then we'll keep the rest. Yeah, yeah. Why not? One more. Creepers. Okay, so there we go. So in this video, we got ourselves a white Sentinel, Sky Blue Neoyos, Burnt Sienna Creepers, and of course, it has to be noted wherever it may be. You know what? Let's just go to the black market section. Boom! A glorified. Look at that top row. Hextide Shattered, Voxel, Dissolver, Fire Twice, Dissolver Twice, and a Glorifier. Holy! We got it. Next episode, we're going for the Neuro Agitator. Maybe it'll be painted, and what a way to finish crates that would be. But that is going to do it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. Ivan Pixel, I'm going to check out the White Sentinel for you real quick, and then we will end the video there. So, sent. Get sent, lad. Okay, I mean, there's definitely more things I've got to do with it because that at the moment looks a bit rough. Um, but yeah, there's stuff we can do. I've been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.